that the bear could have really interesting behavior because it's high on cocaine. What'd you see? Hmm? It's demented or something. The bear's superpower, if you will, you know, the magic that we could literally sprinkle onto our bear. So yes, it's gonna be real and as real as we wanna make it, but we had a little leeway to play with the bear's behaviors because no one's ever seen a bear that's high in cocaine. And it was really important to me that we show the fallibility of the humans in the story. That this bear is not the big problem here. The humans are the problem. I think we should be here. There's something wrong with it. Come on. Come on. So cute. Who has the information that the bear's high on coke and who doesn't? And once you have the information, you know to be really afraid of the bear. And if you don't have the information or you don't believe the information, then you're in trouble. Did you feed it cocaine? No, but you're safe. Bears can't climb trees. Of course they can. Carrie Russell, I just knew from my past experience with her, from everything she's done in film, that she would enjoy the tone of the movie, but she would play it totally straight and that you would just want to root for her and that the audience just loves her. I mean, who doesn't love Carrie Russell? And that she also was gonna be, had the strength physically to do all the physical things in the movie and, and really be like an action heroine, which is something I love seeing her do and she gets to sort of play with just enough in this movie. Mr. McKendrick, have you ever done cocaine? What? Why do you ask? Just wondering if it has long-term side effects. For the bear, of course, if it just did a little bit. Well, it could create a habit for the bear. I hope that audiences feel the movie lives up to the title. Cocaine Bear is a lot to live up to. And um, whatever you think it's going to be, it's everything and more.